Demon just got out of can. I gave my bro an advance. Right guys, so how's it going? Welcome back to the today. So next to me, we've got my 2016 in Lime Rock Grey BMW M135i. Now, I've had a lot, I mean, I mean a lot of people asking me in the comments down below on my YouTube, on my Instagram, and my Facebook page, asking me questions as to Luke, how do you afford to insure a car and how do you afford to basically own one, buy one, etc. Um, I'm also gonna run in today into detail as to why I bought this car over many other cars. But for now, let's crack on with today's video and uh, hopefully we can answer all you guys' questions. As you know, uh, my name's Luke, and this is my YouTube channel, LBTV, for any new viewers out there. It is a bit of a different video today, don't get me wrong. Um, used to the usual things I usually do, because I don't really open up and tell people a lot about my personal life in a way, because this is kind of personal, it's going to be a personal video. But before we do jump into uh, the main bit, which you guys want to know, which is obviously the financial stuff, um, insurance reasons, stuff like that, I want to talk to you about why I actually chose to buy this car. So we're starting off here by the rear of the car, as you can see by the offside rear wheel. Now you're probably wondering, Luke, why are you starting here? Now this is obviously, as you know, a rear wheel drive car, and it's one of the main reasons why I chose to go for this car. Yes, there's a lot of uh, rear wheel drive cars out there. You've got them a lot of Mercedes, like AS, C63 AMGs. Um, you've got like 335Is and not the 135Is and things like that. There is plenty of other cars out there. Also, you can get Jap as well, get Sylvia, get something mad like that, like so you've obviously got. But yeah, it's, it's the drivability. Um, it's the fact that you are able to basically get involved with the car more and drive it more, being rear wheel drive. Now, a lot of these four wheel drive cars, you put your foot down and it does it all for you. I have now, on numerous occasions, and plenty of times, my bum has gone like that. Trust me, it's happened. But that's the whole point of having this car and driving it, I think. I think you're gonna lose that fun and that excitement when you get yourself in a four-wheel drive car. I've driven four-wheel drive cars, and I just don't feel engaged as much with the car as what I do with a car S with being four-wheel drive, especially having a sort of power over 400 brake horsepower with it at the minute. But that is probably number one reason why, so let's move on to the next one. And then secondly, obviously the engine, the three liter N55 six cylinder engine from BMW. Now there was a different variant before this, obviously the N54. Um, I can't remember, the, I think the, one of the main changes obviously it went from a twin turbo to like a twin scroll turbo. Um, either way, it's still a three liter engine and it, they, they sound amazing. I could not basically miss out from when I had my Focus, which was a five pot. Um, the sound of this compared to your S3s, your Golf Rs, um, they're all two litre, uh, four cylinder, and they just sound boring, I think. Like, don't get me wrong, they do sound pretty good as well, the A45s and all that, they do sound decent, but it is nothing on this six cylinder absolute powerhouse. And being a 320 brake horsepower, I believe, standard, I think it is, um, there's just so much more room for basically tunability, um, reliability, and things like that. This block, probably on its own, the engine itself, can probably take up to about, I don't know, like six, seven hundred horsepower, I'm guessing. I haven't done a huge amount of research yet, but the sound and the engine itself is another reason why I bought the car. So let's move on to the third one and the final one so we can crack on and get onto the bits that you guys want to actually listen to. And for me, guys, the third one and the final one, there is plenty, plenty more, and I will do another video, but the third one has got to be how beautiful this car looks. Like, absolutely stunning. Now, I'm not just saying this because of the colour, although it is about 50% because of the colour. It's just the looks of the cars as well. I think they are absolutely stunning. The ass end on them themselves is just, it's a big booty. Like, it is a big booty. It is an awesome, good-looking car. I absolutely love the interiors on it, especially with the upgraded... Uh, M Sport, uh, M styled steering wheel, which I've got in there. Um, there was one on the preface this, which I don't really like, but this the steering wheel on this is absolutely amazing. It goes with the red leather. I didn't think I was going to like the red leather, but I absolutely love it. So overall, um, it's just an awesome all-round car. I absolutely love it. But I will go into the future 
as like five things I like, five things I hate, because you know I'll do all that in the future. But for now, you know I know exactly what you guys want, and that's to obviously find out how I can afford it, all the insurance, etc. So let's jump inside the car and uh, we can discuss those things. Okay, so let's uh, let's talk about how I can actually afford to have the car, insure it, and things like that. Because I know it's all bugging your brains and you're wanting to know. So I'm going to start off and straight that this car, yeah, it is car is on finance. Um, being working at a dealership now with Chris, obviously I think it's a lot of beneficial things for me. And obviously that will be included with my insurance as well, but I'll go into that in a minute. Yeah, so this car is on finance. Uh, I pay around £250 a month, I think it is, I believe, for this car. Um, but... The way that we can do it is obviously we can go out and source a car that I like. So if I found a car like, which I did for instance with this car, um, I found this car that I liked and um, being with close brothers, as close as we are, we um, actually found this car and then Chris was able to sort out the finance for me because um, believe it or not, I've actually got pretty good credit score. Um, I automatically got accepted, which was awesome. Um, and now to so those people that are going to be like, Luke, financing is not the right way uh don't do finance now the thing is i have done finance before and i've also not done finance so i've done a bit of both obviously with my civic my focus sts and things like that. i didn't finance any of it um i went down a route so uh, with my fiesta team a blue one i had i had that on finance and then i thought like look i'll take a bit of a break i will try and do some things have a bit of fun with some like cheaper cars um not on finance and um see how that goes and then now I just got obviously this job with Chris and it was a lot more beneficial for me and I thought it was nicer to have a comfortable car again. Uh, it's also something I can enjoy. It's a lot more tunable and uh, fun as well. So <clears throat> to those people that would be like, Luke, why have you got that car? Because I know there's going to be people commenting down below saying, you can't, why are you having that car? You can't actually afford it. Um, I don't really, if you look at finance these days, I guarantee you, I'm pretty sure as well, 80% of the cars on the road these days are financed. Um, there shouldn't be any hate against it at all. You, I am from one of those people that you should be able to just, you know, enjoy and take the opportunity, obviously, when you get it, um, like I have with this car. And I think having finance, if you can do a finance and physically afford it monthly, just work out with your job. Obviously, get a good credit score for starters, because obviously you're not going to get a fight accepted. Well, you might get accepted. And one thing I will say for finance, guys, if you get accepted, I mean, if you're desperate to get a car on finance um, and it's something you want and they give you a high finance rate or something out on a high APR or whatever, don't don't jump into it. Like I got this at a rate, amazingly good rate. I think it was about 4%. And um, obviously being working here with Chris has helped. Don't go falling into a trap of getting yourself into something that you don't want to get into. Just play it easy. Make sure you can easily afford the costs of the car. You've got to remember as well, it's not just about paying your monthly figures um, to the finance company. You've got to remember after um, three to six months, obviously when your warranty's up, that you're going to have to obviously maintain the car yourself. Um, so you're going to have to cover those costs. Obviously things that aren't coming on warranty, are things like tyres, uh, brakes, wear and tear items. So you've got to worry about those as well. Obviously servicing. Um, unless the company's giving you a service package plan or something like that, it's not included as well. So you've got to factor in all of these costs. Um, for me, I know I've always been good. I've never, ever missed a payment on anything I've had in the past, any direct debits, any finance uh, any finance at all, any other cars I've had. So just make sure you are 100% sure of what you're doing. And yeah, so this car is on finance, but I am extremely happy with it. I'm paying the car off from finance, I believe. There's just so many YouTubers as well. Tommy's got his car on finance. Um, and obviously I can check for people who's on finance or not because I work here. So I, I can find out absolutely everything about any car and who owns what and how much finance is left in the car, etc. But we'll get into that for another video if you guys wanna, if you wanna know about that a bit more in depth. Um, but yeah, moving on, I think I've touched up on everything. Um, yeah, finance, if you wanna rip me, then rip me. I don't give a shit, um, is what it is. I'm here, happy with the car. I'm enjoying my life. I'm taking every experience and every bit of enjoyment I can at my age of being 22. Obviously, when I'm older, I'm going to have a house and things like that. So enjoying these cars now whilst I can is something you guys should do as well. But just make, like I said, make sure you just be safe and clever about it. Make sure you can afford everything. Affordability is key. And obviously, make sure you try and put down a big deposit as well, if possible, when uh, buying a car on finance, because it will help you in the wrong, long run, because obviously cars value and the residual values go down um but i mean if you're getting a new car one thing i might actually say quickly before we head on to the next one which is insurance um if you're getting quite a newish car from like 16 onwards or 17 onwards 
Maybe go for a PCP if you're like doing something, if you're changing cards every so often, go for a PCP. Um, you get lower finance, uh, you obviously get lower uh, monthly repayments, but obviously there's a balloon payment. But if the residual value of the car is quite good, then you're not going to lose a lot of money. But that's for another video. So moving on to insurance. Now, like I said, guys, I work down here at Global Motors with Chris. And luckily and thankfully, um, Chris has been a best mate of mine now for a long, long time. And he said to me that if I pay him like a certain amount a month, I'm not going to say how much I pay him a month, but I do actually pay. So it's not fully free, but it is very, very cheap. That's all I'm going to say is that I pay for um, for this insurance. So we're on a motor trade insurance. Obviously, we have to be uh, working here. So Chris has got me on that. And it's helpful because I can pretty much drive, I think, any car worth up to 100 grand or something like that, I believe now, which is covering me fully comp, which is awesome. Um, obviously, I'm not an idiot driver, as you can see. I, yes, I had the Civic and I drove like a bit of an idiot, but like that's just something you can just go full hand with. And when, you know, Chris has got massive trust in me because he knows that I don't drive like an ass all the time and I know where to limit myself, which is good. So for those of you now, you're probably thinking, Luke, this isn't going to help me. Um, you've got motor train insurance. I'm never going to be able to do that. Now, let me speak to you about the company I was with beforehand uh, working with Chris. I was actually still the same age, 22 years old. And um, I was with a really good insurance company called HIC Insurance, uh, Motor Insurance, I believe they're called. Now, they're awesome. Um, if they're watching this video, I hugely thankful you you was awesome with my dc5 and my ep3 um that dc5 guys that i had was that was boosted fully forging that no modifications extra at cost um so just go ring him up say luke um say luke bourne sent you he used to be at have a used to have insurance with you guys or lbtv they might remind me my youtube name because i did say to them um, that did a video for them but do check them out they are extremely extremely helpful and they are on the ball with answering the phone um speaking to you i think i spoke to the same person pretty much the whole time i was with them because i just wanted to keep that one-on-one -on -one relationship with the uh with the person because you know when you ring someone up and you have a good understanding of what they're on about it's nice to speak to them again um just because they know what's going on um you don't have to re-explain to someone else and they know the ins and outs full well. So it's a lot helpful and that's what they're like up there. So you can just literally ring them up and be like, oh, it's Ben now, or et cetera. Um, can I speak to him again? He sorted out my quote last time, but give him a call, HIC Insurance. I will leave a link in the description down below. Um, I'll also leave their number now as well, so you can give them a call. They are extremely helpful. Um, but shall I do as well an awesome uh, like updated, because I've done an insurance video before, but I think that's about a year and a half, two years ago now. Obviously, being in a trade now, I know a lot more tips about insurance and things like that. So if you want to see that sort of video, comment down below and let me know. But uh, apart from that, guys, this is it. Like um, with insurance, like I said, just be honest with them. There is ways you can get things a little bit cheaper. But like I say, it's always better to ring them up for a quote. Yes, it's nice to just, you know, click on money, supermarket, etc. Get your easy quote. But you'd be surprised, ring them up and saying like you could just chat shit. Like honestly, just make up something. But like, this company offered me uh, insurance for this price. And, you know, nine times out of ten, it does happen. You can actually get a car insured for a bit cheaper just because of that one little lie. But it's it's not... It's not hurting anyone. You know, you're there to try and get cheaper insurance. It's not hurting anyone. They're the one offering insurance. If you just make up like, you know, like a hundred pound difference on that, don't go crazy. Don't take like a grand off guys because obviously then they're gonna cotton on and be like, oh, this idiot's, this idiot's trying to basically like finger our ass. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it. This is my, this is my car. This is me. Um, I'm not gonna go full in depth guys and say how much I'm earning there. But I will do in the future, maybe, if you want to know uh, how much YouTube pays me and things like this. Like, like I said, I don't really do YouTube, on it, YouTube for the money. I do it for the enjoyment of you guys being able to see these cars that I go around and film because it's just different. And, you know, a lot, not a lot of people get to experience things like this. Like, I'm 22. I'm still at a young age. And to have all this, I'm hugely grateful and thankful, like, as well. Like, I wouldn't be hugely into cars. And I wouldn't have the commitment I do with working here and everything as well. And doing my YouTube without you guys because you do help me out a lot. And I hugely appreciate it. So, um, we've got some more cool bits coming for the BMW. 
Uh, we're going to hopefully in the future get some more power squeeze out of it. For now, I'm just enjoying it at the power it is. Because like I said earlier, I had a few squeaky bum bum times uh, with this car so far. So, uh, and one thing I need to sort out is the front tyres. Because the front tyres are very, very out of shape at the minute. So I need to get them sorted. But yeah, guys, that is it. Hopefully, this has answered a few questions. Um, like I said, with finance and insurance and that. Just go back and listen through to what I've said. If you've uh, some reason scrolled forward to the end of the video. Or I know a lot of people do it. They didn't watch the whole video. But I'd highly recommend watching all of this video. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, thank you for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, give me a video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Hit the little bell button to be notified every single time I upload, which is probably at the minute, or I'd say two times a week. I'm trying to get more, but I'm trying my best to do it. But yeah, check out all my social media links in the description down below. Uh, I'm mostly active on Instagram and Snapchat and things like that. So just get in contact with me there. I'm always happy to help out with questions and things like that. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.